Our purpose, again, is to serve the community, to help the courts, and to help um, with the jail population. Star County will join 14 other counties in Texas that already have a public defender program. However, the chief public defender for Star County tells CBS4 their program will differ from the rest. One of the things that is different about our program is that we are grant funded. So where other counties might be funded by the county and they may be uh, hired and employed by the county, we are completely, um, we're under a nonprofit organization. The public defender program was designed to comply with Senate Bill 7, the Texas Fair Defense Act, protecting the right of those with lower income to get proper representation when going before a judge. Once the Star County office is officially open, Castillo expects over 100 cases will be appointed to each of the attorneys on her team. We're going to be handling misdemeanor cases, felonies, and juvenile cases. Hidalgo County has had a public defender program since 2005, and according to Judge Fred Garza, it has helped alleviate the overcrowded jails along with the county's budget. Before we had the program, the average fee for a, uh, a, a paid attorney was around $275. Uh, right after we got it, the program, or the Public Defenders Program, um, it went down to 215 Since we are so close to the border, Judge Garza says proper representation is crucial, especially if the person is undocumented. We want to make sure that uh, they get uh, adequate representation because we want to make sure that uh, if they're not U.S. citizens, that their rights are, are given to them. In a statement, Star County District Attorney Omar Sanchez says, quote, My office stands ready and willing to work with the Public Defender's Office to move our criminal justice forward and better serve our community, end quote. In Star County, Michelle Vargas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The Public Defender Program in Star County 